Why does the Soul Stealer Grey Sword look like this now? But does that mean Pirate Island is getting revamped? Anyway, let's go ahead and try out the Underworld because we can finally do it. And I don't think I'm going to try Hardcore mode because the Underworld is actually a very difficult dungeon, I'm not going to lie. So yeah, let's just see how well we do. But before that, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Alright, come on, please say it's not too bad. Okay, yeah, they do have a lot of health. I can't even kill them with two skull flames. Oh, nah, this is bad. My set isn't even that bad. I'm pretty sure it's just because of the staff. We got really unlucky in the last episode. Okay, yeah, not a chance that I'm doing that. So let me go ahead and buy the Invoker of Darkness. And there we go, we got a full mage set. We also got demonic spikes, but I'm not sure if that's a good spell or not. I think I'm just gonna stick to phantom flames. Okay, and there we go, brand new set. And that also added on to our XP boost. Now we have 10 hours. Bro, how much XP are we gonna get? Okay, guys, and that just made me realize that was the last time we're ever gonna buy a bundle. After this dungeon, there's no more bundle, so I won't be able to just buy a bundle and beat the dungeon easily now. And I've also been wanting to buy a cosmetic, but my shops have not been that good recently. You know, maybe I would buy the banana, but I'm not spending that much robux for whatever that is this crimson crystal site doesn't look too bad though all right well anyway let's go ahead and try underworld now this should be a lot easier oh my gosh yeah we do so much more damage I'm gonna miss being able to buy these bundles bro it just made the game so much easier now instead of buying bundles i'm gonna have to buy dailies but i only have three shots at it so we might actually get unlucky but anyway this dungeon is a lot easier with this new set and you know in the last episode we did try the easter event and i'm pretty sure it doesn't really give that much xp you know i kind of wish it gave more but who knows maybe i'll try it again oh my gosh we're doing so much damage to this boss okay yeah this is way too easy okay of course there's one more demonic warrior left this is pretty straightforward technically my first round of the dungeon and we're already completing it this easily just goes to show how overpowered spending robux is but hopefully we can still get some stuff to help us for nightmare mode even though we kind of already have a maxed out set okay and we're about to level up and we're on the Colvamar. i think that's how you say it i have no idea but this is the one where you have to kind of preserve your space but that shouldn't matter too much because i should kill it like insanely quick yeah we're just already doing so much damage yeah and if you guys haven't noticed i put on hardcore mode because i just knew this was going to be way too easy and boom it's already dead there we go level 81 already okay my boosts are kind of looking low right now so i might have to refuel on that in a little bit you know we have like a good eight minutes left of luck boost we're definitely gonna need more of that when we get to nightmare okay and here we go on the demon lord as relic but yeah, like I said in the last episode, it's crazy that in just like four episodes, I've already caught up with my other Noob to Godly series. Basically, this series is just twice as fast as a normal Noob to Godly. I wonder how this will affect us when we get to like the higher levels. You know, and I think one person did comment that something I didn't really think about is that I could just like trade people cosmetics for items. Or would that be too overpowered? Let me know in the comments. But anyway, it should be dead now um is that staff good okay level 79 yeah i don't think it's that good but yeah i'm still kind of surprised that they're revamping pirate island to be honest i thought it would end after winter outpost i feel like pirate island was a pretty solid dungeon i mean as long as they do it the same as the winter outpost one then i don't think it should be a bad thing i feel like right about now is the time for an actual new dungeon you know i think we've had enough revamps although the revamps are actually really good though you know it definitely made the noob to godly a lot better but yeah dude this is just way too overpowered yeah, this is what I meant by these phantom flames are just so overpowered. Oh my gosh, that does a lot of damage. Okay, I almost just died right there. I might have to heal after this. This boss is like annoying to dodge because of how laggy the attacks are. Like you never know when you have to turn. Okay, and there we go. All right, now hopefully I can heal in peace without that blood minion over there killing me. Okay, this universal heal cooldown is just like painfully long for some reason. I mean, it does heal like everyone on the map at once, but I'm surprised I didn't get chain heal, I just realized. That would have been really useful. Yeah, I don't think the next like actual good heal spell is until like the canals, I think. I don't even think there is a heal spell until then. So yeah, we're gonna have to live off of universal heal. Okay, but here we are on the second boss. You know, we're just gonna quickly kill it. Yeah, it's just does so much damage. And there we go. It's already dead. And we're leveling up really quickly. Okay, there we go, level 82. And here we go on the Demon Lord as Relic. I know, hopefully we can get like a better weapon or something. I know there's like the Dragon Claw Scythe, which is like a lot better than this one. But otherwise, we have a pretty decent set. So there's not really anything I need from this other than XP. Oh my gosh, I was so close. All right, well, he should spit out the heart now. Yeah, there we go. You know, good thing I can kill the heart before they even turn into, like, blood minions. Before they even turn red and chase you. So, yeah, and it should be dead. There we go. 
Oh, okay, we got a uh, blue mage armor. But yeah, nothing else really too useful. But yeah, I just really wish I had like a good cosmetic shop. You know, I actually do want to buy a cosmetic. I just don't want to buy one that I know I'm not going to like. You know, comment down below some of the cosmetics I should look out for that you guys like. I might have to buy some of those. But yeah, basically, I just have to grind this until I'm in nightmare mode, which is level 85. It shouldn't take too long, though, because we do have the XP boosts. And speaking of boosts, I just realized that like all my boosts are one minute now. Okay, actually, no, only my luck boosts and health boosts, but I still might have to replenish those. I don't know if I should just buy them separately or the whole ultimate bundle again. I can't tell if it was worth it or not. Okay, almost got hit there again. See, that's what I mean. This boss is like weird. Okay, yeah, we just did so much damage. And there we go. It should be dead. To be honest, the dungeon underworld doesn't really look that good. But what I do like about it is all the armors and stuff actually look pretty good. Like Glorious and the legendaries, they all look pretty good. But you already know the next dungeon that's coming up is Samurai Palace, which looks like actually good. You know, a lot of people say it's like the best looking dungeon. I don't know what my favorite dungeon is. You know, comment down below what your favorite dungeon is because I think a lot of them look good. Enchanted Forest is probably up there for me. Okay, and we're already on the second boss. I've been just like mindlessly playing through this dungeon. I'm not gonna lie. It's just that easy. Okay, and there we go. It's already dead. But yeah, in nightmare mode of the underworld, we're actually gonna have to try to like get ourselves a good set because this time I can't just buy the bundle. So now I actually have to like work on getting a good set before the next dungeon. You know, who knows? I might have to just sit there and buy dailies. I mean, obviously I can beat it, but just probably not as easy without the bundles. You know, I've just gotten so used to spending my money to get the bundles. I might forget how to actually like play without them. Like at the start of this video, I didn't even try to do the dungeon. I just like immediately bought the bundle. Okay, he's spitting out his heart. Yeah, we should kill this pretty quickly though. Yeah, there we go. It's already dead. I remember like actually struggling on the heart because little minions would run after you. And there we go. Now he's dead. Okay, yeah, nothing good. Okay, well, both my luck and health boost just ran out. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the ultimate bundle to get one hour of every single boost again. And there we go. Yeah, that is much better. Okay, there we go, level 83. And yeah, something I just thought of. In the last episode, I ran out of gold and I just bought some. But you know, I could just buy the two times gold game pass. So I might have to do that if I need it. Okay, but let's go ahead and take down the demonic overgrowth. Yeah, we're just absolutely shredding his HP. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, of course these guys hit me. And I didn't kill him. Are you serious? Okay, well, at least the warriors don't completely one-shot me. They don't even do that much damage. I mean, I also do have the health boost, which gives me like 5k HP, I think. Okay, and here we are in the second boss once again. Yo, this boss is actually like really easy. And another thing I just remembered, whatever happened to the level 130 dungeon? You know, I wonder when that's coming out. Because if they're actually revamping Pirate Island, then that would be like kind of weird because that wasn't even on the roadmap. But let me actually try out this Soul Stealer Greatsword real quick. This is what the new Soul Stealer Greatsword looks like. Okay, to be honest, it kind of did look better on the icon. It's kind of like 2D. I don't really know how to feel about this. I think they were just trying to get it to match the Staff of Gods, maybe? I have no idea. Okay, well, anyway, let's go ahead and take down the Demon Lord as Relic. You know, hopefully we can get some like purple armor. I don't know how much it will help though. Or like a dragon's claw scythe those are op oh my gosh Bro, are you serious how'd i die okay well i guess i'm using a revive potion now i have no more revive potions left i'm gonna actually have to buy some more or right, hopefully that's in like a spot where it'll also kill the heart even though it'll probably go away yeah never mind but yeah after this run i'm definitely gonna have to buy some more revive potions you know every single time i've used one there's not like a valid reason i kind of did just die but like you know in the last episode i just walked straight into the mobs Okay, we got demonic spikes again. You know, I might actually have to try those. Okay, I know they're not going to be better than phantom flames, but I'm going to go ahead and try them anyway. Uh, okay, yeah, much better. Okay, that was actually really close. Almost died. Okay, second boss once again. And we're about to level up. So I might level up on this boss right here. It's a level 84. Um, is it going to come over to me? Okay, there we go. What the heck? Okay, well, there we go. I leveled up, and now one more will be in nightmare mode. Okay, and here we go on the final boss. Come on, let's see what we get. Yeah, really, the only thing I need is that Dragon Claw Scythe. I feel like that's the only thing that would, like, actually help us out a lot. Okay, and it's already throwing out the heart. Okay, yeah, we just killed that heart so fast. Now I just have to kill the whole thing. Yeah, there we go. It should be dead now. There, oh, there we go. We actually got it. The Dragon Claw Scythe. All right, well, let me see if this thing is actually better than my current staff. Okay, yeah, it should be a little bit better, so you know what? I'll take that upgrade. All right, let me go ahead and upgrade this. Okay, and I do not even have close to enough somehow. Okay, well, I just sold, like, everything, so let me go ahead and try now. 
Okay, and I still can't even afford it. All right, yeah, it will be like a slight upgrade though. But you know what I said, if I can't afford gold, then it looks like I'm gonna have to buy two times gold. All right, let's go ahead and buy two times gold so I don't have to ever worry about gold ever again. Even though I probably will. Okay, yeah, this shouldn't really give us an upgrade yet because, you know, this is actually kind of a little bit worse than my old one. But I think when I max it, it should be a little bit better. You know, to be honest, it kind of wasn't worth it. You know, maybe if it was like blue or purple. But as of now, I was probably better off just not upgrading it. But yeah, it doesn't change the fact that we're still completely rolling through this dungeon. Still just insanely easy. But when we do level up to level 85, we'll finally be in nightmare mode. So then it'll actually get a lot harder. Okay, and there we go. I'm not sure if we're gonna level up this round or not. You know, hopefully we do. Okay, I'm probably not leveling up this round. Okay, here we go. Demon Lord is Relic. You know, we're gonna get double gold this time, so I'll finally be able to max out my scythe. I'm hoping it's like a little bit better than my old one at least. Otherwise, then I'll feel stupid for like wasting my time and money. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take down the heart and one more Phantom Flames should kill it. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay, we got Rending Slice, but I'm pretty sure that staff isn't good at all. Alright, now I should be able to max this out. Uh, okay, never mind. I still can't max it out. Did I buy extra gold for nothing? Okay, three upgrades away, and yeah, this is not gonna be better than my old one. Okay, what a waste of time and money. I probably should have checked first. Okay, and there we go, level 85. All right, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and reset so I can go do Nightmare Mode. Alright, here we are in Nightmare Mode. Let's see how difficult these mobs are. Okay, not that bad. Definitely doable. Let's go ahead and complete this run. And then after this, I'll probably collect my daily just to make it easier. I wonder if just one can kill them. I don't think so, though. Okay, yeah. I'm definitely gonna need these two. But yeah, this isn't too bad, to be honest. But, like, definitely doable. Okay, how did that hit me? Now I actually gotta heal up. Okay, this is not good. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. How did I not die? Okay, let me just wait for both my Phantom Flames to be ready because... Not about to die like that. Okay, there we go. That's a lot better. She got to take it slow. And of course, that guy spotted me from like a mile away. Okay, there we go. And oh, 200 million health. Okay, this is probably going to take a while. I just got to make sure I don't die to his laggy attacks. Okay, yeah, but we do do quite a lot of damage though. Okay, not too bad. Oh, almost forgot that he has attacks. All right, one more cycle. We should kill it. Hopefully. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, not too bad. We're actually doing pretty good. Okay, I just gotta be very careful that I don't die. I'm gonna try to group these up. Okay, luckily that guy died. Now I just have to take care of the Elder Dark Mage. There we go, that should kill him. Yeah, there we go. This is just very time consuming. Because the Phantom Flames cooldown is like 10 seconds, so this just takes forever. Okay, there we go. And now we're on the second boss. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, because all we have to do is kind of just like walk around. Okay, yeah, there we go. We already got one hit off. Yeah, this boss is like so easy. It only gets hard when you like run out of space, but I don't think that like ever happens. You have to be like really bad or something. All right, but we should be good here. Okay, I've kind of quartered myself. If that didn't kill him right there, I probably would have died. Okay, here we go. The Demon Lord is Relic. 225 million health. Hopefully we can do this. I think I forgot to buy more revive potions in case I die. So hopefully that does not happen. Okay, but we should already be on the heart. Yeah, there we go. He should spit his heart out soon. Okay, there we go. Oh, now it's actually going to be like difficult. The blood minions are probably going to turn red. Okay, this is actually not good. I'm hoping they don't. And they do. Okay, I just got to like stay far away. Oh yeah, we're good. I got to make sure I don't get anywhere near there. Otherwise, they're probably going to kill me. Okay, please die already. One more hit. Come on, hopefully we can get something good. Uh, okay, we got ice totem, warrior armor, and a mage and a mage weapon. I don't know if any of that is good or if it's like even worth upgrading. We'll see though, because I'm gonna go ahead and collect my daily. All right, let's see what we get from daily. Hopefully, we can get something good for mage. Okay, we got a mage helmet, guardian armor, and dual arcane spell daggers. Those are actually pretty good, I think. Okay, not bad. Okay, and I just realized that is actually a warrior weapon. Okay, not a bad daily, but I'm gonna go ahead and try again to see what else we can get. Okay, oh! Let's go! We got a Phoenix Grey Staff! There's no way! Oh my gosh! Let's go! 
Finally, the pay to win pays off once again. And we got a better mage helmet. Okay, this is all good and all, but level 87. Only level 85. Let me go ahead and upgrade this mage helmet for now, because this should help us. Okay, there we go. I actually have gold to afford it now. And yeah, that is a lot better. Let's see. I could use this guardian armor, but I don't think it's worth it. And I also could use these spell daggers. But then again, I just got legendary. So once I level up a few times, I should be able to use it. So I don't think it's worth it. And I got two ice totems. I don't know if these are good or not. I might have to try them out. We got a lot of good stuff. Okay, I know we just got a legendary, but I can't help myself. I'm just going to go ahead and buy another one. Okay, that was not worth it. All right, well, let me go ahead and upgrade my legendary so I can use it when I level up to level 87. Oh my gosh. Wait, I didn't even get close to maxing it. Okay, well, I'll probably max that later. But for now, we're gonna spend some more Robux because like I said, I ran out of revive potions. So I think I might have to stock up on those. Dang, 400 Robux for five revive potions? Is that even worth it? Oh man, I don't know. But we're spending a lot of Robux this episode. Okay, let me go ahead and buy five revive potions. We're spending so much Robux this episode. Hopefully that is worth it. Let me try Ice Totem. I wonder what this does. I think I remember it like placing it down and it causes like a little aura around it, but I'm not exactly sure how good it is. So we'll just have to see. Okay, the range is not good at all. I'm not gonna lie. And back to Phantom Flames we go. All right, let's see. How much is the helmet helping us? Okay, yeah, a lot. We still have to use two though. So all we have to do is level up to level 87 and we'll be overpowered. Well, I also got to upgrade the legendary because for some reason I could not afford that. But yeah, like I said, we actually have to work on getting a good set for Samurai Palace because I can't just buy a bundle anymore. Okay, we're about to level up to level 86. That means one more and we'll be able to use our legendary. Okay, yeah, this still does kind of take long. But hopefully we can just level up to level 87 already. Okay, here we go. Demonic Overgrowth. Okay, come on. One more cycle and it should be dead and there we go all right let me group these up because i think that will be a lot quicker right, let me make sure they're all staying in the thing and there we go yeah, that was so much faster okay and there we go we're on the second boss again okay yeah pretty straightforward should be dead now there we go now hopefully by the end of this round i should have enough to max out my legendary which i highly doubt but you know at least enough to make it better than my current weapon okay and there we go we're on the demon lord azraelic come on give me something good some glorious armor would be nice, you know, to match my legendary. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're doing a lot of damage. Oh yeah, and another thing, when we get to Samurai Palace, we'll finally be able to use speed spells. I wonder how quick we'll be with the speed boost and speed spells. Okay, they turned red, but oh, all right, luckily I could kill them in time. That was kind of scary. Right, come on, this boss has like so much health. Oh, come on, 8 million health left. He's like almost dead. Okay, should be dead there. There we go. Oh my gosh. There's no way he just got another legendary. What? That is insane. Okay, well, now I don't know which one's gonna be better. Okay, wait, both of these are actually like very similar in pot, I think. I can't really tell which one's better. Okay, this one is better by like literally three points. I already upgraded 360 into this one though, so I think I'm just gonna go with this one. You know, I don't think the three point difference should matter too much, but that is crazy. We got another legendary. I actually cannot believe that. All right, well, let me see how many more times I can upgrade this thing. Okay, only a few. It's already better than my old one, though, so if I do level up this round, you know, I'll be able to switch. Okay, well, yeah, hopefully we level up soon so I can switch to my legendary. Oh, bro, how'd I get hit? Are you kidding me? I don't know if I should just wait till I level up to heal or just heal now. I don't know. It takes too long. I think I'm just gonna wait. You know, just hopefully I don't get hit. Okay, please die. Oh my gosh, you have to be kidding me. So low. Okay, well, hopefully we level up before the demonic growth or whatever it's called again. Because I might actually die there. I need a heal, bro. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, well, I am not using a revive potion for that. All right, let me go ahead and try to group them up this time. Hopefully this will work. Okay, well, definitely did not kill the mages, but we killed all the warriors. All right, but this should kill them. And there we go. We're getting so close to level 87. All right, I'm going to try to group all these up. Hopefully I do not die. Okay, and of course I got hit. All right, this is actually getting dangerous. Oh my gosh. All right, now kill him. I did not realize how much space I just created. Okay, I don't know if that was smart or not, but we're about to level up, so I'll finally be able to use my new legendary. And there we go, level 87, finally. Oh my gosh, this thing looks sick. All right, now let me see how much damage I do with this thing. I mean, to be fair, it isn't fully upgraded yet, so probably not that much, but when we get it fully upgraded, this thing should be OP. Okay, yeah, but definitely a lot more damage for now. Uh oh Oh my gosh. Look at my health. 
Okay, yeah, I'm for sure healing. Okay, we almost one-shot them with one Phantom Flames. Still have to use two, though. Yeah, I need to get this Legendary fully maxed as soon as possible. Hopefully after this round, even if it takes spending Robux. Because then it will make this so much easier. Okay, come on. And there we go. Second boss is dead. Yeah, I can't believe we got two Legendaries. Now we just need some armor. Okay, and there we go. We're on the Demon Lord as Relic. Now, I've been actually really lucky this dungeon. Compared to last episode, we got like barely anything. All right, come on. Let's see. How quickly can we kill this boss now? Well, not quick at all, but like how much faster? Still probably not that much. Okay, here we go. He spit out his heart. We should kill it a little bit quicker. So that's actually pretty good. Okay, they turned red. Um, Okay, yeah, we're good though. And there we go. Oh, uh, no, nah, never mind. Nothing really good. All right, let's see. How many times can we upgrade this? Hopefully a lot. Okay, not that many, but we got it to 30,000. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and buy 60 million gold. That should get us to about, like, almost maxed. All right, come on. Let's see. Please. Okay, yeah, almost there. You know, I'll take it. 36,000. We'll get the rest once we get more gold. But that should make a huge impact on our damage. All right, now let's see how overpowered I am. Come on. Okay, yeah, definitely a lot better. We can one-shot with one Phantom Flames now, finally. Now it should be so much quicker. Because I don't have to use two per group. Now I just need a better chest plate. We should have a decent set to go to Samurai Palace. It could always be better, though. Yeah, this is so much quicker now, bro. And we're already in the demonic overgrowth. I wonder how fast we're going to kill this now. I think I might be able to two-shot it. Yeah, definitely. That's insane. Okay, come on. Yeah, and there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was actually very risky. Let me not do that again. I don't know what I was trying to do. I probably should have just killed them. I was trying to group them up even though I can like one-shot them now. Well, not one-shot them, like one-cycle them, I guess. I wish I had like chain heal or something, bro. This heal is so annoying. Bro, how did he reach me? There's no way I just got hit again, bro. Come on, now I gotta heal again. It's gonna take forever. I guess I have to stay like super far away from them. Oh my gosh, bro. Like how many times am I gonna get hit? Okay, come on, it's almost dead. That should kill it, right? Okay, of course it ran out of it. And oh, we're level 88 already? Okay, I did not expect that. We're getting even closer to getting to level 90. We're actually really close to level 100 already. Oh my gosh, like... Why do I keep getting hit, bro? Oh my gosh. Bro, how'd I die? Hopefully my luck can continue and I can get some armor. Okay, he should already spit his heart out, right? Or is that not halfway? Okay, now it is. All right, come on. Let's just kill his heart already so I can get something good. Why is there one more blood mini left? Okay, there we go. That should kill it. Yep. Oh, nothing good. And there we go. Demon Lord as Relic. Okay, that was actually really close. I almost died right there. Not trying to waste another revive potion. Okay, he's 23 million health, and now he's spitting out the heart. We actually got him really low. Okay, they're turning red. I do not. My cooldowns are not ready. Please. Okay. Oh my gosh. Another legendary. Bro. And they're all like really good paw as well. There's no way. Bro, I might have to switch back to warrior. Let me know, guys, in the comments down below. I know I'm asking this again, but mage or warrior? I'm like genuinely curious. Because I feel like in Samurai Palace, they're pretty neutral. Dude, if, if this was mage armor, we would be OP right now. But of course, I had to be guardian. And here we are on the demonic overgrowth. I might level up on this. Level 89. And we still need armor. All these legendaries, but yet no mage armor. I've been thinking maybe I could trade, but I don't know about that. Okay, we did not level up we're actually like really close and there we go level 89 one more and we'll be in samurai palace come on please we need mage armor so badly my legendary is being watered down by the rest of my set bro how do i keep dying there i can't with this game bro okay there we go he's throwing out his heart all right come on please I'm begging for some armor. Oh my gosh, and my luck boost and stuff all have like seven minutes left. I swear they run out like so quickly. Okay, that was pretty close. Come on, I do not want to die now. He's literally on 9 million health. Okay, there we go. Oh, bro. Need armor. Can I please max this out? Bro, I'm so close. How long is this going to take? Oh, hopefully this helps a little bit. Okay, I can't really tell if that's helping or not. I just really need armor right now. Yeah, we're just rolling right through this dungeon again. Just like how I was in insane mode. 
Just imagine how easy this would be if I had a chest plate though. I don't know why it's so hard to get a time loss mage chest plate. Well, preferably better, but come on, anything at this point. I'll take like gray. Okay, come on, you should be dead there. Yeah, there we go. Come on, we're pretty close to getting to level 90, so I'll probably level up next round. <sighs> but yeah, here we go. Demon Lord is Relic. Come on, I really need armor. This might actually be bad if I go into Samurai Palace without any good armor. Okay, come on, spit the heart out, please. The heart is almost dead. Just need like one more hit on it. Okay, there we go. Now I should be able to kill the final boss. Please die. Of course, it's at 400,000 health, bro. All right, well, there we go. Oh my, bro, please. And there we go, level 90, finally. Okay, it looks like my luck boost and health boost just ran out again. And my speed boost is about to run out as well. And the boosts run out so quickly. Oh my gosh. 